Hello people, today I am going to take us on the legendary Nigerian horror story of Madame Koi Koi. Now, some people believe this story is true, while others believe now it's just a mere, you know, folk tale, fairy tale, right? But in this story of Madame Koi Koi, it comes in two parts. Some believe one part of the story and some believe in the other part of the story. Now, the first part of the story of Madame Koi Koi is the story of a teacher in school who was very mean to her student. Her name was Chloe. You know, she was very mean to the student. She has a, a very beautiful dress sense. She always wore a red high-heeled shoe. Right? Now, she was not only a teacher, but she... Madame Koi Koi is a legendary Nigerian ghost, a female ghost, you know, who haunts dormitories, schools, terrorizes students, pupils, in bathrooms, toilets, you know, they, especially in their dormitories where they sleep, you know, they usually complain of hearing sounds of, you know, somebody walking, maybe the lobby or the corridor or the bathroom they hear this koi koi movement sound and that is where the name comes from madame koi koi because it was believed that the main madame koi koi herself which is uh, mrs chloe as she was called has this red pair of high heel shoes and when she walks it makes the sound koi koi right so there is there are two edges two waypoints of this story i will tell you the first one and the, the first story portrays madame koi koi aka mrs chloe as this very weird lady she was very brutal to the students and you know that resulted to the fact that her colleagues you know other teachers and dormitory workers didn't like her to the extent that they took her case to you know the authorities of the school and then when they heard the case, they dismissed her from the school. They sacked her. You are fired. And then on the fateful day of her, her of her being sacked, she left the school. And on her way back home, she had a very terrible accident. And then she died. Mm -hmm. And then afterwards, people started hearing stories that she was she 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 started coming to the school terrorizing the students and even the teachers you know they started hearing sounds of her they will hear the sounds in administrative offices they will hear the sounds in the bathroom in the kitchen in the toilet in the lobbies in offices and even in classrooms especially students who come to school early and those who leave the school late and there are instances where you know those who are in the in, in the uh, 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 hostel they will complain of hearing Madame Kokoi walking. You know, sometimes some students will just wake up from sleep and say they saw Madame Koi Koi. You know, it keeps going on till this present day. But although the legend has died down, but it is still there, especially in boarding schools. You know, you know, a lot of people tell stories of Madame Koi Koi, this weird woman who will flog you till you bleed and all of that. That is one part of Madame Koi Koi's story. I will tell you the second part, and the second part does not paint a picture of the school sacking her, but a very, very deadly one. The second story of Mrs. Chloe, aka Madame Koi Koi, is that she was working in a school, in a dormitory, where students were very scared of her. She was this mean lady who flogs you, she will take you into seclusion and then flog you, you know, like put you in a corner and mess you up. So there was this new student. This new student was always keeping to herself. So on a fateful day, she had this altercation with Madame Koi Koi where Madame Koi Koi disciplined her, flogged the hell out of her. So some story has it that Madame Koi Koi flogged her to the extent that she was bleeding and all of that. So when she, when other students saw this girl, they felt pity for her and they were victims of Madame Koi Koi and they made a very, very evil, dark plan that night and they decided to deal with Madame Koi Koi. So the young girls 
armed with, you know, bats and some other dangerous weapons, stormed Madame Korkoy's uh, 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 bathroom, the toilet where she went into is herself, and they waited, and they knocked at the door. And when she came out, she saw them, and she was making mockery of the girl, and said, oh, you couldn't take my punishment. So what are you girls doing here? And then, before you know it, they pounced on Madame Koi Koi. They hit her hard with the bat and whatever weapons they had with them. And Madame Koi Koi fell on the floor in the pool of her own blood. They didn't stop there. They hit her hard and made sure she was dead. And there was blood everywhere. These girls, they were very happy. They were happy they did that because to them, they have eradicated their own demon, their fear, which is Koi Koi. They didn't end there. When they discovered that she was dead and there was this huge mess all around, they decided to dismember her and then take parts of her body and dug a grave at a nearby bush and buried Madame Koi Koi there. And then they went back to the dormitory and then they were all happy. They slept very well, like nothing happened. You know, but as time went on, you know, there were a lot of investigation. They couldn't find Madame Koi Koi. Police came, investigation was heating up. And then the girls were not saying anything. And before you know it, there were five of them. Three of them went missing, many two of them. The girl that Madame Koi Koi dealt with and another one. And they became scared. What they thought something was happening, they didn't know what was happening, and so it dawned on them that something must have happened. Did this girl went ahead to tell the people? Well, at the long run, fear got into the remaining two girls, and they 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 started seeing things like they would hear the sound of Madame Quirpo walking on the dormitory tree and all of that, and they would dream weird dreams. At the time, one of the girls saw Madame Quirpo in a pool of her blood, and you know, and she screamed and then the school authority gathered and then they asked what happened and she just mentioned it was madame chloe mrs koi koi and that is how it starts spreading everyone in the school started hearing one or two rumors that madame koi koi was dead and then her ghost is you know haunting the school that was how the tale of madame koi koi spread out and it became, you know, legendary. And, you know, when you go into school, people will literally tell you, hey, beware of Madame Koi Koi, Madame Koi Koi is this. And it's a Nigerian, you know, legendary story. Here's the thing. Whether or not this story is true, we don't know. Because up until now, nobody has told us the school that this happened or where in Nigeria it happened. But we just know that this story emanated in Nigeria. And it blew like wildfire. And up till date, people still talk about Madame Koi Koi. You know, they use it in movies and even in music in Nigeria. So, whether or not it's true, we don't know, like I said. So, but I hope you have enjoyed this story. It is legendary. And uh, it's a typical Nigerian story. Whether Madame Koko existed, we don't know. But it is very important to note that we have to be careful when we are told the Definite, sad, horrible story of Madame Koi Koi. God bless you. <laughs> Bye. I hope you learned.